Figures of light draw a spiral to the sun. Look again and you will see seraphim of light forming as ice skating champions, myriad figurate patterns across the sky. Great rejoicing among our legions does bring forth a demonstration seldom seen by human eye. But to our messenger I give the beautiful vision as the opening into the inner sky where seraphim in formation commonly and daily march to the central sun and return again in radial lines to all galaxies and spheres in matter cosmos. I salute you in the name of Serapis Bay. I salute you in the name of the Elohim of the fourth ray, purity and Astraea. I salute you in the name of Archangel Gabriel and Hope. I salute you in the name of Alpha and Omega. And I am Justinius, captain of Seraphic Host, and I come to welcome you to the heart of Seraphim forever and forever. We rejoice in the extension of the electronic fire rings from the central sun to the planetary orbs. And I also part the veil on another system of worlds where another messenger does stand and release this message to those who also have learned this art and science of drawing the solar ring for their planetary home in a similar distress. Blessed ones of light, how unique is the word singular one, and yet the ramifications and diversification of that word can be infinite or merely for the one alone. Now, my brethren, we share a common light and service, you and I 
and therefore I draw you to the understanding of the use of the science of the spoken word by mighty seraphim who sound at times in their chants like aeolian harps as they give their calls and praise and affirmations of the deity. Their timing is such that they may synchronize in that four four time that is sent of lines of recitation that are just beyond one another. To appreciate this, you must understand somewhat the accelerating spiral in which they move, spirals of light where stair upon stair of light bearers moving across the sky maintain formation in various dimensions, all timed to the chant that is given in sequence that does blend as a mighty harmony, not at the same word moment by moment, but in gradated steps. And therefore there is a light release that does mount, as it were, the keys of the octaves, forming chords of light as the chanting does increase and resonate and the echo across the inner sky does therefore create a reverberation for alchemy, for the creation and the uncreation of worlds. Such is the science of seraphim as a mighty sound and as the whisper of the most quietly spoken fiat that does affect the heart of a little child in a hospital bed in another star. So penetrating the eye, so precise the mind of seraphim who outpicture the mind of God as Alpha to Omega. Our service is the daily round of transmitting the light of electronic fire rings from the central sun to many worlds. We sustain the patterns and have done so for an eternity and more. Now with the drawing by the finger of God and the hand of the messenger and the very heart of the devotee of the solar ring around those energy fields of light that must be sustained, protected and accelerated, we will come to reinforce the call and the establishment of these rings in the earth. Therefore we are here on a mission that does increase and with great joy for we have waited and waited again for the great God to sound the very sound of this hour when earth's evolutions might be stepped up and the fulfillment of the Magnificat of Mary should be sounded. For the affirmation of the Divine Mother does bring forth great wonders in the matter universe and this mantra we have long ago made our own as you may also do. The humble heart, the wise heart of the Mother knew that with the coming of the infinite light so there would be the judgment of the point of Antichrist. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. The rich he hath turned empty away. Blessed ones of light, realize then that the great wisdom of the mother of Christ saw the divining of the way and the judgment with the coming of that light and therefore we also see with the coming of the light of the Lord our righteousness as the Christ self, the one sent into each and every heart, there is also come now the solar ring for the reinforcement of planetary change and the putting an end to, therefore, certain planetary cycles and the bringing forth of the new. 
Thus I stand here, and Serapis does send forth a mighty ray, and high in the upper atmosphere, Astrea and Purity draw the sign of the solar ring around those remaining lands of the earth, the North Pole, the South Pole, Australia and New Zealand, Greenland, the islands of the seas, the seven seas, and other areas connecting those already named until every major landmass and the individual nations are now encircled by the solar ring and therefore with the mandate of the hierarch Serapis Bay I do draw the solar ring and I ask you to join me now. The drawing of the solar ring around the North Pole and the South Pole and the islands of the sea and Greenland and Australia and New Zealand and all other nations which you may so choose to name and therefore it is the white fire snow it is the white light of purity it is the mother flame again and we are joyous to draw down by the magnet of our hearts this infinite light of cosmic freedom in the name Alpha and Omega, Elohim, Helios and Astal, God and Goddess Meru, messengers of the sun, mighty archangels and Chohans, I, Justinius, call forth twin pillars of twin flames of the Godhead from the central sun to the very white fire core of worlds and worlds and worlds beyond and in the four quadrants of Mater penetrating now to the very depths of misqualification in the astral plane and therefore the mighty solar ring does place the seal now upon death and hell and the areas and pockets of the darkness of the pit be sealed now and let the great central sun magnet seal the place where evil dwells until the binding of death and hell and their casting into the lake of fire i now reveal beloved hearts a mighty pillar of fire from out the great central sun i now reveal the descent of this pillar and i ask you to reinforce it by the mighty action of the tube of light Oh my God, they love me. I am present the light of God above me. It was made in the form of the circle of fire before me to light my way. I am faithfully calling to thee to place a great pillar of light from my own mighty. I am God, presence all around me right now today. Keep it in act through every passing moment, manifesting as a shivering shower of God's beautiful light, through something human can ever pass. Into this beautiful light, through the circle of divine nature, today. Direct as we've done, turn to the mind and fire of freedom, we're giving transmitting light. Pause the ever-expanding energy of this flame projected down on the force field of my human energies to completely change every negative condition of the whole of the earth and I will make that self. Let the magic of its mercy so purify my world with I that all whom I contact shall always be blessed with the fragrance of violence and God's own heart. In memory of the blessed dawning day when all discord, cause, effect, reckoning, and so are retained in the victory of light and the peace of the ascended Jesus Christ. I am now constantly accepting the full power and manifestation of the speed of light and calling it into instantaneous section on my own guilt given free will and the power to accelerate without limit the sacred release of the from God's own heart until all men are ascended and God free in the light that never, never, never fails. Beloved sons and daughters of God, I reveal to you in this hour a point in cosmic space defined by the cosmic cross of white fire as the origin of the anti-light, the origin of the evil one and all evolutions of the descent that have followed therefrom. And I call to your attention now the mighty ring of the circle of Astrea and the power of purity encircling this entire mass 
of misqualified energy, a vortex, as it were a black hole in space. Beloved hearts of infinite light, this mass and vortex of darkness, seen and circled by Elohim, has been according to the command of Alpha and Omega, put to the torch by none other than Sanat Kumara. Some weeks passed, and this act of the Ancient of Days is the initiation of the consuming of all misqualified energy and the conglomerate that has been called death and hell. This fire has been burning, therefore, some time as you calculate it in the earth, and it will continue to burn as the sacred fire, consuming and drawing into itself the cause, effect, of record, and memory of the substance of unreality, worlds without end. It is to this very nucleus and nadir, beloved hearts, uh, that all calls must be directed, for it was therefore in the origin that all of the effects of evil have proceeded, and thus by a process of elimination through the invocations of the messenger, on and on and on through the decades, there has come the act of going to the very source and the source behind the source as it were, until this very cosmic configuration could no longer be hidden from her eye by the very ones who sought to veil it and conceal it, lest this very event come to pass, which has been prophesied for eons and known by us, and yet whose very existence could not be revealed to the messenger until the hour of the very call that it should be given. And therefore the dictation of that call was given to the unascended messenger by the ascended one and the dispensation of Alpha and Omega to give to Lord Sanat Kumara the authorization of the central sun to ignite this torch did come forth in answer to that call. For as you understand, the call must go forth from the lowest descent of the sons of God, from the very physical octave, in order that the entire matter spheres might be cleared. You may understand this, therefore, in terms of the beginning of the end, and you may understand that this has been the watch which you have kept over the Christmas season during these weeks, as many faithful hearts have kept the flame that the messenger might continue the call day upon day. And therefore it was decreed in this hour by Helios and Vesta that the keepers of the flame and students sincere of the ascended masters ought to understand that which is taking place as much as you are capable of understanding. For, beloved hearts, this continuing sacred fire, this all-consuming love, this igniting, therefore, of the cause and core of the original spawning of evil, must continue and the souls of light must guard it and therefore around this entire mass we the seraphim of God all in number do form a mighty ring of light as a ring pass not a mighty ring pass not of the great central sun magnet and we form this ring by our very living presence, by our bodies charged with the light of the great central sun, and we are therefore standing guard that no substance may escape now from this center. None may enter and none may exit, and no light bearers may stray or wander near. And therefore, this is sealed by the act of cosmos, mighty cosmos, secret rays, Elohim of God, emissaries of light and cosmic forces, until the fulfillment of the word is given, as above, so below. It is not to be made known to you in this hour what is the timetable of this consuming of this mass, you can appreciate, beloved ones, that you live upon a very tiny world and that there are millions 
of evolutions, life waves, solar systems, and beyond. And this vortex is the source and origin of the contamination of the matter cosmos. We are in an age of the winding up of a mighty coil and a scroll of light. Now, therefore, as you are able in your heart of hearts and in your Christ self, so appreciate and take in the understanding. You might say that Lord Sanat Kumara, in answer to the call of the entire spirit of the Great White Brotherhood, has begun the process of the consuming of the dweller on the threshold of the matter cosmos. And therefore, beloved hearts, the great hope of all is the enduring flame of Mother Omega in the matter cosmos, in you, in the very heart and soul and being of light bearers, that this mother flame in the hearts of devotees everywhere does now sustain the counterpoise and the power of the central sun magnet to hold the balance for this activity. World upon world, as this particular consuming does increase, will receive the opportunity, therefore, for the planetary or the world dweller on the threshold to be taken. And in order for this to take place, it does require, beloved hearts, that the cause of that dweller and the origin of evil in that world be already consumed in this central vortex which I am describing. When the cause is consumed, the effect may be taken. If the effect is taken before the cause is consumed, the cause may generate again a similar effect. It is always thus with the original matrix. Many can be carved out of the one, and therefore it is the cause and core to which we have reference. The Lord Sanat Kumara has waited long for this opportunity, and I can tell you it is made possible not by the messenger, but by the keepers of the flame who sustain the office of the messenger. You may understand that the one cannot give the call unless the one is upheld by ring upon ring of those who keep the flame of life around a planet and in many systems. Thus, the mouthpiece, the instrument, depends upon the whole mystical body of God. We have seen since the hour of the ascension of Mark a tremendous increase of light and in the quality of students who have taken up this path, a purification, a transmutation, and truly an immense understanding as well as a fiery application of the science of the dynamic decree, reaching to those levels that have been held in the past by priests and priestesses on Lemuria. Therefore, beloved hearts of light, we are grateful, and the universe itself does declare, Here, O Chilas, we are grateful. Here, O Chilas, we are grateful. Here, O Chilas, we are grateful. I must also tell you that the mission of this messenger could not be fulfilled, nor the ascension take place until this call could be made. And it is only one of a number of many such calls that have a cosmic timetable and have to do with the acceleration of light in the earth. Thus, many more dispensations are anticipated by beloved Serapis Bay, by the Elohim Purity and Destreia, and we are gratified also at the forthcoming release of the book by Archangel Gabriel, the mysteries of the Holy Grail, recorded by the messenger. For beloved hearts, this book will bring to the attention of many souls the very personal presence of Gabriel in the earth and will clarify the position that ought to be taken by sons of light and the light bearer nations when the laggards and the fallen ones determine to fight it out unto the death 
and when Gog and Magog are positioned one against the other and the black ants and the red ants as Gabriel describes them his advice is that the sons of God ought not to enter in and be caught in the crossfire and you see this is precisely what has happened as the Marines who do represent the legions of light and many of whom are embodied angels are caught in the very center of ages old feuds that exist among the laggard and warring disorganized dissonant and discordant evolutions of the Middle East thus beloved hearts I pray that you will keep a vigil not only for the life of these servants and defenders of light but also for the all-seeing eye of God upon the entire Middle East situation to which the seraphim give very intense attention in this hour for we desire to see the fallen ones meet their own karma without the involvement of light bearers and yet on another level a ring of light must be drawn and there must be keepers of the flame of freedom and peace thus beloved hearts unless there be containment you will also see fulfill the prophecies of nostradamus that have come forth concerning a great darkness out of the east moving in a fury and an anger and a hatred in war across the european continent there must be not only containment but also the all-consuming light the sacred fire of sanat kumara to burn the very cause effect a record and memory of this ancient hatred that is not native to earth but comes from other planets and laggard evolutions and Nephilim gods who have journeyed in their spacecraft eons ago even from distant galaxies beloved ones the records in this area of the earth are atrocious they are debasing they are death-like in their grip they are vicious and they are bloodthirsty and the demons that are there require absolutely the power of the sacred fire and the full intensity of rings upon rings of light beloved hearts of infinite fire come forth for I now take you to the Middle East and show you how the very manifestation of the effects of evil here came directly from that mass that vortex that is in the process of being consumed and thus I Justinius with Elohim with Archangel and with Chohan of the fourth ray do draw again by the very bodies of seraphim the solar ring and rings around the vortex of the black hole in cosmos and the dweller on the threshold of the matter cosmos and by correspondence I draw the solar ring around the Middle East and all nations involved who have laggard evolutions around the Mediterranean we know exactly who and where these laggard life waves are beloved hearts now those of you who remember the spheres of light ring upon ring of mighty angels in the Gustave Doré painting may visualize almost an infinite number of rings established in concentric fashion by seraphim around the Middle East and you will see a, at inner levels now as I reveal to the messenger a dazzling white light a radiance so bright that it is necessary to shield the eye this is the radiance of concentric solar rings drawn around this mother chakra of the earth and this place so consecrated by the Lord Jesus Christ by Mother Mary and Saint Germain and other saints who came to hold the balance against the darkest of darkness beloved children of the Sun we place our body to form these rings and we ask you in the name of God the great I am also to invoke daily the action of the sacred fire and to give a special insert to beloved Estrella for the consuming of the cause effect record and memory of the evil minds the murderous hearts that are there who have no intention of ceasing their warfare until the last pint of blood is spilled upon the earth and all are devastated these are the voracious ones and beloved hearts they are the legions of death 
Let us then understand there is an astral plane occupied by hordes of night, and there is a physical octave of warring factions with their vendettas that carry on their murder to get even centuries and centuries and centuries after the original crime is committed. Therefore, by the authority of Lord Sanat Kumara, I, Justinius, call forth again the mighty solar ring. Around the vortex of the origin of the evil one and around the vortex of its effect on earth in the Middle East, I call forth the twin pillars of Alpha and Omega, Elohim of the sun, Elohim of the sun, Elohim of the sun, Hercules and Amazonia, Apollo and Lumina, Eros and Amora, Purity and Astrea, Cyclopea and Virginia, Peace and Aloha, Arcturus and Victoria, Elohim of the five secret rays, Alpha and Omega, Great Central Sun Magnet, Beloved God and Goddess Meru, Helios and Vesta, messengers of the sun, all saints ascended and unascended, mighty pillars of twin flames, reinforce now our solar rings, reinforce now the sealing of the origin of the spawning of evil. Now let these fears therefore be sealed. Seal therefore, seal therefore, seal therefore the place where evil dwells and let it be consumed from within. Beloved Serapis Bay, I, Justinius, call therefore for the igniting and the consuming of the cause and core of the effect in the Middle East of laggard evolutions and the origin of their coming to earth and there destroying the pristine purity of Lemuria and Atlantis and ancient golden ages and their scientists and their Nephilim men, also the watchers and also the mechanization men. And therefore, there does stand forth beloved hearts in this hour, the mighty one, Sanat Kumara, over the east and the nucleus of fire therefore is brought as a candle and it is held now in the upper atmosphere over the Middle East. And the presence of Alpha and Omega and of Venus herself and therefore in the astral plane a single flame is ignited and put to the very nucleus of the cause and core of the Middle Eastern situation. Beloved hearts of living fire, it is sealed by the great central sun magnet. It is also sealed and under God control of the seraphim by direction of Elohim from the heart of Sanat Kumara and Venus, Alpha and Omega. And this is, as it were, a controlled experiment. And it will continue and expand or be sealed according to the calls to Astrea and the continuous vigil kept. And therefore it is done in the name of Helios and Vesta. I call forth the mighty cloak of invisibility, invincibility and invulnerability around this entire action of the sacred fire. And I call forth the tube of light and the secret rays that the entire alchemy in the very core of the astral plane might be sealed. And I enlist your aid in the calling forth of the tube of light. Oh my God, I'm loving, I am present, I'm light of God, I'm loving. Thank you. 
Legions of light bow before the light in the hearts of the devotees of Gautama Buddha. Legions of seraphim bow before the Lord of the world and are grateful to be called in his service by the daughter of Zion. Blessed heart. We now accelerate into the flame to perform the perfect word of the Lord and his work. We seal you and we salute you in the sign of the cross and the star of fire. <laughs> 